I'd like to welcome my friend, my first client, um, the first person to ever tell me, shut the fuck up and do your fucking job in my career. Um, somebody has smoked something today. So please, please help me welcome M.I. Abaga. I like the way she put it down on me. I like the way she put it down on me. I like the way she put it down on me. She looks like she's a supermodel. Cover up a fashion magazine. She looks like a queen that she knows. She really all lies. All lies. Everything he said now was a lie. I never said that to him. I don't use bad language. Um, so, my first meeting with MI was actually here. It was here, right? Down there. What was it? It was a cafe or something that used to be down there. So we sat in there. I think we ordered like one meat pie. That, that, yeah. that time, no money, man. And, and I don't know if you guys remember how lively and how full of life this place used to be. It was the place to be. Ah, it was the place to be always. And so we came and we sat there and we had like a coffee and we, we faked it. Yeah, we faked it. <laughs> we faked it. Um, do, you, do you remember the initial conversation? Um, I remember that uh, something about you that you always had is that you listen very intently. Like Godwin, if you've ever had a meeting with him, he listens with his eyes. Like he peers, he stay, like leans forward and he looks at you, like listens very intently. And I remember that. I also remember that, um, that I felt like this was somebody that was super intelligent and um, everything that I had spoken to Osage that I was looking for, I felt, you know, this is somebody that would understand. And because you're an artist also, I, you know, it made it simpler to be able to communicate some things, you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember Osage giving me that information wrong. So Osage said uh, at the time, that, oh, would you like to manage an artist? And I was like, yeah, 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 because I, I was bored. I used to work in a company called Fruition Image Consultants. I was, uh, I was PR and marketing manager at 21. And it was an interesting job because we had clients like uh, British Telecoms. We had uh, um, Nokia. You had Deola Sego. It was exciting, but... My job as PR marketing manager was basically developing campaigns, and it was the same thing. So I remember calling Osage to be like, yo, um... By the way, Osage used to be my manager when I was an artist. How many of you know Osage? She currently, she used to manage Whiskey, now she manages Timaya. She was my manager as well. And so I reached out to her and I said, I'm a bit, I'm a bit bored with this thing, can we, can we find something else? And she's like, okay. So she calls me two weeks later and she's like, oh, would you like to manage an artist? Sent me Chant Down Babylon and Crowd Mentality. Do you remember Chant Down Babylon? <laughs> of course, those songs are like, these are the first few songs that I wrote that people listen to. You know, and I just want to say a segue, by the way. When we talk about the history of Nigerian music many years to come, I think arguably the most vibrant period was between like 2007 and 2017 that you're talking about techno whiskey davido all the way down to like nato c nice asha when all that started right i would be hard pressed to find anybody that has more influence and more impact and more connections in our industry than osage like it's amazing what this lady that almost nobody knows like the public, the buying masses, they have no idea who she is, how impactful she has been for our industry. And she's still working, still looks younger than all of us. Do you know what I mean? And energetic and just amazing. But um, yeah, so shout out to Osage, wherever she is. Shout you know. out to Osage. Um, okay, so the purpose of the podcast really is... Uh, don't worry. The real, the real mic is here. Um, the 